An artist from the Highlands has secured an exhibition at famous London restaurant The Ivy. The work of surrealist painter Michael Forbes, who already has a celebrity following, will be on display in April. Nicola McCallie went to meet him. Combining the ears of Mickey Mouse, the nose of twerking singer Miley Cyrus and the mouth of a monkey, this is a new take on pop art by Highlands-based painter Michael Forbes. Subverting celebrity is a recurring theme in the 45-year-old's work, and now he's sent to show his colourful pictures at one of London's most hallowed haunts for famous faces, in an exhibition curated by Holly Gilliam, daughter of Monty Python artist and star Terry, a childhood hero and friend of Michael's. Well, Terry bought one of my paintings probably about 15 years ago, uh, and he's kept in touch over the years, and he's bought several other pieces since, uh, and his wife Maggie has been very encouraging. So um, Maggie and Holly decided that they should probably do something with my work in London and they kindly offered to arrange an exhibition. It's certainly not Michael's first brush with celebrity. His eye-catching art is already owned by the likes of rock band Travis, comedian Ricky Gervais and former jazz icon George Melly. And his work is on permanent display in a New York gallery alongside the likes of Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein as well as musicians turned artists Ringo Starr, Ronnie Wood and Bob Dylan. He says the growing cultural obsession with fame is a fascinating theme. And we live in a world now of uh, reality shows and instant celebrity. So I quite like the idea of taking celebrities and chopping them up, taking people who are so famous that you just need a, a slither of their face that you'll be able to identify them. I don't actually stick them together, I just sit them quite close together and the eye is forced to see a new face. So it's like, it's like a new celebrity uh, by chopping up past celebrities or present celebrities. And it's just our interest in fame and, and celebrity as a whole that I like to explore. Michael's work will go on show at the Ivy in April. With interest already growing, it seems he's one artist whose destiny is written in the stars. Nicola McCallie, STV News.